Evening viewers, this one goes out to my brother Ryan Johnston who also happens to work in a hi-fi shop and he put a little question to me, he said I should make a video on a particular subject and as it happened I already had a script ready for it, I was going to make this video so it kind of worked out perfectly. Let's go. There's an age-old question in the world of hi-fi, which one's better, a direct drive turntable or a belt-driven turntable? Both of them have advantages and both have disadvantages. Before I go on, it might be worth checking out my video on the anatomy of the turntable. Just click the button up wherever it is. There might be a few technical terms that I'll use that if you don't understand them, that video should make obvious. So at the basic level, these two forms of turntable drive function in exactly the same way. A motor drives your platter, which ideally rotates at precisely and accurately 33 and a third RPM and 45 RPM. The key difference being that on a belt driven turntable, that motor and that platter are separate, connected with a belt. And in a direct drive turntable, the motor sits directly beneath the platter and drives it directly, hence direct drive. Direct drive turntables employ much greater torque, allowing for much more rapid startup. That means that when you're throwing together your favourite mix of James Brown and the atmospheric works of Banjelis, you won't need to wait five seconds just for your record to get to the right speed. You press a button and a split second later it's at 45 RPM or 33 RPM. Direct drive turntables also have a reputation for superior speed stability to belt driven turntables and while this used to be true, these days, turntables of both designs have generally pretty brilliant speed stability, assuming you're getting a good quality turntable. It's a question of the quality of the components rather than the design of one or the other. On the flip side again though, direct drive turntables are known for exhibiting more low end rumble and a greater noise floor. All the electrical and motor noise coming from the turntable's motor gets transferred straight through the platter to the spindle to the record and then to your stylus. Happily though, most good quality direct drive turntables are made with this in mind and good quality damping and isolation is used between the platter, the plinth and the motor. As I previously mentioned, in a belt driven system, the motor and the platter are separated and decoupled with a belt. That belt often drives a sub-platter underneath the actual main platter, something like the Rega RP1. That platter then spins on super silky bearings. Typically the motor turns at a constant rate, meaning that to change speed, the belt needs to be changed from one cog to another kind of like a bicycle changes gear. Motors in direct drive turntables have a variable speed. That means that the motor itself actually changes speed through 33 RPM and 45 RPM. And it allows them to have pitch control where you can actually incrementally adjust the exact speed and pitch that the turntable is playing at. So which one is the best? If you're just a home user and you don't need a lot of the features that direct drive turntables give you, such as pitch adjust and all that torque that allows your record to get up to speed as quickly as possible, then you're gonna get more for your money with a normal belt driven turntable. You're gonna get a better toner, a better cartridge, a better plinth. But obviously if you are going to do any DJing or live audio work, or if you just like tweaking with those features and playing around with them, then there really is no other choice than a direct drive turntable. They certainly do have the place and they're certainly not always going to be worse for the same amount of money as a belt driven turntable. If you think direct drive turntables are infinitely better than belt driven turntables, then give me a like. If you think the belt driven turntables are the way to go, they just sound better than direct drive, then well, give me a subscribe. You know where to come. You can come back and you can see more good stuff. You can see more of this. I'm going to beg a bit more. Check me out on all my social media. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Find me on Instagram at instagram.com slash audiolamagram and there's some sweet stuff on there. If you want to send me pictures of what you're listening to or show me your setup, I'd really like to see your turntables and stuff. Post it on Instagram with the hashtag rockmelamadeus. Yeah, that's right. Rockmelamadeus. If you want to click up here, you'll see a video about how to store your records. If you want to click down, down here, there's a video on top five upgrades for your turntable. I just did that quite recently and I, yeah, and I think we've come to the end of the video.
Thank you guys for watching. You've been an excellent, a radical audience.